to standardize the reincarnation system of Tibetan Buddhism, Emperor Chen Lung established the Golden Urn lot drawing system in 1792, affirming the central government's indisputable authority over the recognition of the reincarnation of Tulkus. Today, the Imperial Steel Pavilion from the Chenlung era still stands in Yungho Temple. The Discourse on Lamas, personally written by the Emperor and engraved in Han, Tibetan, Mongolian and Manchu scripts, is clearly visible. It established a new management system for the reincarnation of Tulkus. The inscription reads, I have commissioned a golden urn to be sent to Shi Zhang. Whenever a reincarnation is to be identified, the names of the candidates will be placed in the urn, and the selection will be made by drawing lots. This system, though not completely free of flaws, is somewhat fairer than the previous practice of individual appointments. The discourse on lamas can also be found in historical records, such as the records of the Qing dynasty, the imperial prose collections of Chenlong, and the annals of Shi Zhang. It reflects Emperor Chenlong's major policy towards border stability and national security. The Golden Urn was made with meticulous precision and serves as a testament to the blending and development of Chinese culture. On the first day of the seventh lunar month of the 57th year of the Chenlong Emperor's reign, the workshops of the Qing Imperial Household Department received an ancient gold-plated copper pot delivered by a eunuch. This came with an imperial edict stating, Draw a design of an urn which shall be a larger version of the pot. The urn's mouth, waist and base should not have lotus petal patterns. Instead, use auspicious cloud patterns for decoration. Chen Lung paid such great attention to the golden urn that he designed it personally. Later, Emperor Chen Lung decided to replace the ruby, topaz and sapphire gemstones originally planned for the urn with turquoise, amber, coral and lazarite, which were popular in Shi Zhang. The auspicious cloud patterns of the central plains and the Shizang style gemstones complement each other. The urn not only merged the cultural characteristics of different ethnic groups, but also reflected the aesthetic style of the Qing court at that time. 